Dear friends and colleagues, let me begin to acknowledging the significance of the topic at the hand and congratulate Dr. Ramos for organizing such a relevant meeting. Our discussion today is not just about recognizing the value of an idea, but about embarking on a search for solutions to envision and realize concrete projects. The advent of artificial intelligence has accelerated the transformative era we live in AI has disrupted every aspect of our life, from enhancing governance efficiency to empower me, individuals, and on an unprecedented scale. Yet, uh, this uh, transformation is only in its early stage. The path ahead is long. And the factors we face are so complex and uh, unstable that uh, we find uh, ourselves as a crossroad, dreaming of a future where our desire and expectation for regeneration will improve our way of life and help us overcome the historical gaps that have held us back. A new era is drawing, and it is important we anticipate the incoming instances to inspire decision makers who too often now carry out the interest of the largest tech company that it created the AI and hold the keys of this operation, rather than being a democratic representative they might expect. Let us, however, assume that these leaders are guided by goodwill, that they are dedicated to using their immense power to serve the needs of the population by providing essential services, then it's our duty to suggest an operative roadmap toward the welfare for all, a pathway that guarantees jobs and fosters the competencies need to face the challenges ahead, empowering us to become active participants in shaping a sustainable accessible and inclusive socioeconomic future. Since uh, its foundation by UNESCO in 1996, uh, OCAM, the Observatory of Digital Communication affiliated to UN uh, ECOSOC, uh, has been advocating for uh, e-welfare for all a vision we have elaborated and validated at the UN Nation Quarter in New York during the last Info Poverty World Conference. This is still our commitment uh, after more than 20 years of stating in the final declaration 23rd edition that uh, took place in April that you can find online uh, and uh, on our website. Uh, to this end, uh, several projects have been elaborated, including the ICT village model, successfully applied in Latin America and Africa communities, like in a millennium village of Sambain in Madagascar, providing digital technologies and e-learning and telemedicine services or the EVA Belt project founded by the European Commission and operating six sub Aryan African countries, assuming food security through new sustainable practice and innovative ICT tools. We believe that when it comes to transforming education and the career opportunity to our children, we must adopt a new approach. This does not mean dismantling existing curricula, 
but rather enhancing uh, then with a parallel system, one that uh, provides the necessary digital infrastructure and support, uh, such as online classes. Through a progressive integrated program, uh, we can build the capacity of our children and their parents to employ local resources and drive sustainable development. This program will also foster active interaction through virtual classroom designed to upkeep the community and improve their quality of life. This integration will uh, prioritize uh, bridging the divides between rural and urban areas, genders, languages, and cultures, fostering a win-win process for all in the respect of human rights for all. Occam is ready to work uh, to join you on a specific project, uh, one uh, that I sincerely hope uh, will help us achieve the goals we set uh, out to discuss today. Together, we can make uh, a lasting impact. Thank you.